For the exit strategy, at the end of mini PCNL, we prefer to leave a nephrostomy tube. A 14 French aspiration tube is inserted through the amplet's sheath. Sometimes, a latex Foley catheter is inserted. Mostly, a 14 French Foley catheter cannot pass through a 14 French amplet's sheath, even though they are of the same diameter. The rigid distal end of a stiff hydrophilic guide wire is introduced into the Foley catheter until it is blocked on its tip. Then, the catheter is stretched over the guide wire. The distal end of the catheter and the guide wire are clamped with the forceps, fixing the catheter over the rigid length of the guide wire in order to maintain the catheter in its stretched state with the new length. The catheter has become very long and of course, thinner. The amplet's dilator is used to mark the exact length of amplet's sheath on the catheter. The now the thinner, than 14 French, catheter is introduced easily into the 14 French amplet's sheath. Until reaching the mark with the fingers. Then, the amplet's sheath is retrieved, 4 to 5 centimeters. Thus, the balloon of the catheter will be outside the sheath. The amplets is completely removed outside the tract. The balloon is inflated with 4 milliliters of water. The forceps is opened and the guide wire is removed. The catheter returns to it its initial length and girth. The same technique can be used with a 16 French catheter through a 16 French amplet's sheath. And even an 18 French catheter through a 16 French amplet's sheath. The distal end of the catheter and the guide wire are clamped. The catheter is introduced easily. Then, the amplet's sheath is retrieved, 4 to 5 centimeters. Thus, the balloon of the catheter will be outside the sheath. The balloon is inflated with 4 milliliters of water. The amplets is completely removed outside the tract. The forceps is opened and the guide wire is removed. The catheter returns to it its initial length and girth. <laughs>